Hi gang! In this video, I'm going to cover some Illustrator basics, and I'm going to teach you how to rotate like a pro. If you like my videos, I'd really love it if you'd leave a comment and let me know. All right, let's get to it. The rotate tool is pretty straightforward. You'll find it here in the toolbar, and it looks like this. If you don't see it, it might be hiding underneath the reflect tool. But we're going to go back and pull up rotate. To show you how it works, I'm going to draw an ellipse. We'll double click on the rotate tool and it opens up a dialog box. You can type in an angle. I'm going to go with 30. And then you can click the preview button on and off and see how it's rotating. All you need to do is click OK. And now my ellipse was rotated 30 degrees. But what if you wanted to make a rotated copy? Well, we do the same process. Double click on the rotate tool type in an angle, and instead of clicking OK this time, we're going to click Copy, and it makes a rotated copy. So one more time, double click on Rotate, type in your angle, and click Copy. If I want to continue rotating this all the way around, I can duplicate the last thing I did, which is Control or Command D. So there you go, and I duplicated it the rest of the way around. You will notice, though, that when you rotate an object this way, it rotates on its own center. And that's not always what we want when we're rotating. Sometimes we want to rotate around an object, or we want to define our own rotation point. So for instance, what if I wanted to draw a flower? Here's my petal, and I'll go down a little lower and draw a circle for the center of the flower. I want my petal to rotate around the flower, which means my rotation point needs to be the center of this circle. So to do that, I'll make sure that the petal is selected, click once on Rotate, and then hold down my Alt or Option key and click right in the center of the circle. What I did was define this as my rotation point, and you'll notice it brought up the dialog box the same as before. You can type in your angle. I'm going to preview it so you can see what happens. We'll click Copy. And then one more time, I can duplicate it all the way around by doing Control or Command D. And that's how you rotate around a point. The last way to use Rotate is to rotate an object but pivot it in a particular place. And let's do a rectangle this time. So here's what I mean. Let's say I want to rotate this rectangle, but I need it to pivot from the upper right-hand corner. Well, to do that, we'll click once on Rotate, click once on that corner that I want to pivot from, and then just click on my page and rotate, and you can see how I'm rotating from that corner. While I'm still in the Rotate tool, I can click anywhere and define it as a point of rotation. So you'll see as I click, click, and then drag to rotate, it'll move around whatever place I defined as my rotation point. So why would you want to do this, you asked? Well, let me show you a professional situation where that might come in handy. I've got a camp shirt here, and I want to add this tab to the sleeve. But the sleeve is on an angle, and I don't really know what that angle is. So I'm going to move my tab into place and then rotate it. I'm going to select the tab. I'm going to move it into place, making sure that the lower corner here aligns with where I want it placed on my shirt, which is sort of that bottom edge. Then I'll click once on Rotate, click on the point that I want to make my rotation or pivot point, and then click anywhere on the page and rotate this into place. And I can keep rotating and editing until I get it to sit exactly where I want. And that is how you use the Rotate tool like a pro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you next time.